Chapter 6, Remember Me. Uh-oh. That doesn't sound positive. Remember me? Who's dying? That sounds like something someone says as they die. Oh shit. Do they, do they mean to hurt us? Yeah, mate, they do. They but Maxwell's here. Thing, my princess. Not so long as I draw breath. Cease the vainglorious theatrix. The city is mine now. And not a soul loyal to his grace still lives. You are all that remains. Not even the Dawn Spear can hope to triumph against such odds. Want to bet? Talk and talk, but do you have the courage to test your words? This is folly, Gustavon. What madness has possessed you? Is this how you would take revenge for what befell your father? Nothing so petty as that, Regna. The war and all its atrocities should remain buried in the past. Then what drives you to commit new ones? To tear down the future we labored so long to achieve? Do you think Hyzant will stand idly by while Glenbrook burns? I shudder to think what ends you hope to achieve by such vile means. <laughs> you always did lack imagination. However, not even I foresaw the opportunity this foolish partnership would afford me. As for Hyzant, she shall meet the same fate as your beloved kingdom before long. Whatever your aims may be, you'll never... Hello! Father, are you hurt? Roland? That's me. Brother? You imbecile! Why do you return? Be grateful to see me for once. I wasn't about to leave you to these wolves. You stone-headed brat. If it isn't my dear Frederica and her newly betrothed, and you've brought friends. Stand down at once. On the honor of House Wolfort, we shall not let the royal family come to harm. So you're the young one. You have courage, if not much sense. What do you mean, so you're the young well? We already met. Brother, what is the meaning of this? I am sorry for forcing this unpleasant scene upon you, Frederica. I had to take action. Sooner than anticipated. Action? What do you... Listen well. I, Gustadolf Esfrost, do hereby condemn the King of Glenbrook and his agents for their treacherous deeds. Scheming to claim the riches of the Grand Norzellian Mines as their own, they slaughtered my dear cousin Dragan in cold blood. For this most heinous crime, and for shattering the trust between our nations out of malice, I declare their punishment must be swift and final. So this is the lie. What mummery is this? Dragan was killed by... Silence, my lord. Benedict? I commend you for delivering the traitorous Prince Roland to me. He too must answer for his Why crimes. would Benedict silence us? Hand him over, and House Wolfort may yet see itself through this unscathed. You are my dear sister's husband-to-be. Bend the knee, and no harm shall befall you. I will do no such thing. We won't be party to your treachery. Your father was ever a thorn in my side. You seem intent on repeating that history. However, I fear you will not live long enough to accomplish it. General of Laura, kill them all. Yes, my lord. Uh, I'm Laura, how about we be friends? Why can't Stop. we be friends? Oh my god. Is he, is he dead? Oh fuck! <laughs> Holy Maxwell, shit! Take Roland to safety. <sighs> yes, my lord. My prince, with me. What? We just spent all that them. time getting Step here. Aside, Sir Maxwell. And you're just gonna take us my away? My lord, we must flee at once. But his grace, Roland, Lord Wolfhart, there is no saving me. The future of Glenbrook lies in your hands now. Father. Holy shit, Roland's My gonna be king. Follow us. Roland's I... gonna be king. Damn it all! Older brother dead, king about to be dead. 
You would once again see Norzelia bathed in blood, Gustavov? Truly, you are lost. This land has long been lost, Regna, but it need be no longer. Man. Man, oh man. This is where Sir Maxwell would have us wait. He is readying the boat for our escape as we speak. A wise decision. No doubt the river is our only hope of getting out of the city alive. The streets are overrun with S. Frosty soldiers. Our foe no doubt searches for us on the other side of this very gate. Then we wait here and pray for Sir Maxwell's swift return. Father. Frenny. Cordelia. And what is she doing with us? She's with the enemy. No, she's not, you what? dumb bitch. No, I, I had no idea. Lies. It was your own brother that attacked the city. If Fuck I off, had you any idea he was Jump planning in the such sea. atrocities, I would have stopped him. He's... I know not what's possessed him. My lady speaks the truth. We are as shocked and torn by this turn of events as you. Enough, Hewitt. We can't be clawing at each other's throats with the S. Frosty army looking to hunt us down like dogs. My emotions got the better of me for a moment. Forgive me. Hewitt means no ill, my lady. Her fellow members of the King's Guard were slain before her eyes. For now, let us focus on the present. Prince Roland's safety and escape are our main concerns. Of course. These are trying times, but we mustn't let emotions cloud our judgment. Benedict, you stopped me from speaking the truth of Dragan's death. To what end? Gustadolf would frame Glenbrook for Lord Dragan's murder and claim it as pretext for his invasion. If he knew we witnessed the truth, our heads would already be on pikes. That doesn't make any sense, Benedict. We were able to just run away. If we'd have said it there, he would have been like, well, kill them. And then we would have just run away like we did anyway. Also, weren't we being chased? Like, we ran out and then he commanded all those knights after us and we're now just chilling on the bridge this is the bridge that is part of the castle right so like <laughs> shouldn't there be shitloads of soldiers here including the ones specifically chasing us out of that room hmm hmm i say seems a bit weird it would seem he still intends to put them there because you spat in the face of his demands what we know could expose his claims as the treacherous lies they are. If it came to light that Gusadolf orchestrated his own cousin's murder, no one would dare stand by his side. Indeed. However, words have little substance on their own. Especially when weighed against the power and influence the Archduke commands. Your truth would be taken as the pathetic ramblings of a desperate man. Once again... Your wisdom makes me feel the fool. No, we are all fumbling through these dark times. You spoke and acted as the Lord of House Woolfort, and did so admirably. And yet my actions have put everyone in danger. Father would have known better. Let us look forward. Your actions Lord, have put nobody back. in danger. What are you on about? <laughs> there are Esfros put everyone in danger. Cloaked in the shadows. We must survive and see them brought to light, for these truths shall be the weapons by which we lay S. Frost low. Thank you, Benedict. I promise to do all in my power to see us through this safely, every last one of us. I know you will, my lord. Let us await Sir Maxwell's arrival. Sir Maxwell shall prove true to his word. We must be patient. 
There's something up here. Large HP recovery pellet. Nice. Yeah, I really don't know how we're not being chased right now. The me this mechanism will open the gate. Best leave it alone for now, lest we want to be met with the snarling faces of the S Frosty. But like, can't surely there's a way to. <laughs> it's the castle gate. Surely the castle has a way to open it from their side. <laughs> The castle that S. Frosty is now in control of. 400 big ones. Very nice. Man, I can't believe. <laughs> As, there's one There's one slight thing that's niggling at me. Which is that the last two battles, our objective has instantly been thwarted by the story. Which kind of feels a little bit eh. Like the previous battle, the objective was you must keep Dragan alive. And then the second you finish the battle, Dragan gets killed by the story. And then this one was, you must get Roland to the throne room. And then you, the second you finish the battle and get him to the throne room, the story kicks him out the throne room and says, run away. You know? So it's like, it, that, that is just kind of a little bit like, I wish that your objectives in battle matched up with where the story was actually going. <laughs> you know? Because, uh, so that's twice in a row now that the second you beat the battle, you're everything you just did. And the battles aren't even short. That's like a full hour and a ten minute long battle. And then the second you finish it, the game's just like, nah, didn't matter. <laughs> you know? I wish that I wish that wasn't the case. But I am very interested to see what's going on with the story still. Uh yeah, why what what did they find in the mine, man? What did they find? Benedict is right. The other side of this gate is likely crawling with us frosty bastards. But we've gotta open it to get to the boat. When Maxwell comes there'll be blood for sure. Wait, which side? I don't even know which side we're on. Are we, like, is the castle to our left or to our right? Did we run through the gate and shut it behind us? Or are we trapped by the gate? Well, not trapped, but, like, are we still on the castle side? And where are the people that were chasing us? <laughs> Franny. Father. What has happened? Damn it all. What have we done to deserve this fate? Nothing. <laughs> you have done absolutely nothing to deserve this fate. Yeah. Obtained fiber. Obtained 800 smackaroonies. Yum yum. Yum yum. Though the duchy's aims remain unclear, it stands to reason that our own domain may as well may soon come under siege. Still, at present, it is our safest destination, and Prince Roland's only refuge. Well, I mean, I think our safest destination is probably Hyzan. Probably get the fuck out of Glenbrook. Move on to Hyzan. With Prince Franny slain, and King Regna and Princess Cordelia in Esfrost's clutches, the crown is in a dire position. Its future lies squarely on Prince Roland's shoulders. I must protect him at all costs. But our enemies close in around us, and there are only so many arrows in my quiver. Could Roland not flee on your hawk? No. Circumstances aren't as dire as they seem. Uh, let's go with this one. Yes, of course. House Tellior and House Falks. Falks must surely still stand. Yeah, well, Tellior was little bitches, but... Indeed. And the Dawnspear fights at our side. My father will doubtless lend what aid he can when he recovers as well. Yes, Glenbrook has some life in her yet. I will fight with every ounce of my being today, so that we might see the morrow. We must go to battle with clear hearts, else we risk losing those we would protect. For now, I shall think of naught else but escape. Cool, cool. Examination, examination station, examination, anything? No examination? Huh. HP recovery pellet, okay, is that everything? Have I checked all the examination points? Not seeing anything more sparkling. I think that's everything. 
I hear footsteps in the distance. Our pursuers draw ever closer. We won't be safe here for long. If Sir Maxwell does not arrive soon with our escape vessel. We will be fucked. What grudge could my brother possibly bear against Glenbrook? Everything seemed fine throughout your betrothal and the establishment of the mines. What could be driving him to these evils? Uh, he attacked us under the guise of an ally. Such an act is unforgivable. True. We cannot know the reasons, but you needn't suffer his wrath. Return to Esfrost? No. <laughs> Heizant will not stand idly by while the joint mining venture flounders. Uh, let's go with top or bottom. Obviously, they found something in the mine that thinks that they can stand against Hyzant and Glenbrook. Like, with, they don't need the allies. They can just rule. Maybe it is just a really large deposit of salt, but I hope not. <laughs> um, I cannot say for sure, but Gustadolf did what he did. Doubtless, there are many facts shrouded in darkness. Do you think he has a strategy for keeping Hyzant in line? That, or he has reason to believe he will defeat Hyzant in battle if it came to that. Either way, the Wolfort domain lies between the two powers. A precarious position indeed. I suppose at the moment we should focus on surviving the trial at hand. Then, we can seek answers. Indeed. Alright, that's everyone I think. Curses! Where is the boat? Curses! Curses! Where the boat, where the boat, where the boat at? Oh! There's another fight, okay. Was not expecting another fight. Recommended level, level 9. What level is everyone that I have now? Uh, oh wait, what? Oh right, we've got a character story. Um, a serious looking youth with a thoughtful demeanor comes to Serenoa and company with news from the Crown City. Thank you for agreeing to see me. My Julio. name is Julio. Julio. So, you're looking to pledge your service to us, eh? They tell me you're from the Crown City. Something happened to drive you our way? I'm afraid so. Flashback? Shortly before Esfrost's attack on Whitehome Castle. Why have you brought me all the way to this place? Whatever it is you wish to speak about, I should hope it is important. I am a busy man. Where was Patriot during all this? It concerns the Grand Norzellian mining venture. Pardon me if I'm being presumptuous, but I came across a most curious thing when I was reviewing the particulars of the arrangement the other day. There were documents that I did not recall having seen before. Specifically, documents pertaining to the compensation of the workers contracted to transport the iron out of the mine. Is that so? Following the paper trail, I could not help but notice that a not insignificant amount of coin had made its way through paths most circuitous and befuddling into your hands. Uh-oh. Something easily overlooked at a glance, but my eyes are sharper than most. Imagine taking no him alone to a place to tell him that you know. Explanation for this? I haven't need to explain it. Even if I were guilty of whatever it is you have the gall to accuse me of, there is not you can do about it. All that I have done, I have done with Prince Franny's full backing. You would claim that His Highness is complicit in this? The high and mighty are always scratching each other's backs. Everyone knows that. Everyone, it would seem, but you. <laughs> To think the Crown Prince would be party to such corruption. Has our kingdom truly sunk so low? 
it would fall on your head should word of this get out. Considering the nature of the crime, I shudder to think of the punishment. Luckily for you, I've every intention of keeping this matter between us, so long as you don't go running your mouth. Why, I'll even toss in some coin to sweeten the deal. A fair enough bargain, wouldn't you say? Coin? I spit on your coin. Oof. I will not remain silent. I cannot. I will root out the rot of corruption that plagues our realm, no matter what it may cost me. You stubborn, self-righteous fool. I'd hope to settle this as reasonable adults, but it would seem that... Sound the alarm! The kingdom is under attack! Esfrost strikes! What's this? Needless to say, the circumstances make my return to the Crown City impossible. Pray allow me to be of service here. Ah, now it's coming back to me. You were Sir Maxwell's second in command during the tourney, weren't you? You didn't stand out much, but you held your own well enough. Aye, I reckon we could find use for him yet. Very well then. Be welcome among us. Eridor, see that our new friend gets settled in. Thank you, my lord. You have my word that I will serve you well. Yulio joined your forces. Yulio's aptitude in battle, a master of tactics and TP. Grants TP to allies and lowers the TP of enemies. Huh. Interesting. Interesting, most interesting. Um, so a lot of us are at level eight. Serenoa is only level seven. The next mission is level nine. Whoa, oh, I, thought, I looked at the XP 13. I thought it said level 13. I was like, what the fuck? No. The thing now, though, is that these two that I just picked up are level 5, and the mission's level 9, so, like, I can never bring them now because they're four levels under-leveled? Hmm. What do you do? Moment of truth. Oh, wait, no, that's not what I wanted. Uh, details, there we go. Grant one TP to an ally and raise their strength and magic attack for three turns. Huh. That's pretty good. Although it costs him two. I was like, that's better than Benedict's thing, but Benedict's thing only costs one. Because it doesn't grant the TP. But that means this guy, he'll use two and then next turn go up to three, use two and go up to two. So he can do three of these in a row, but then he'll have to do a turn of... Nothing, I guess. Deal physical damage to an enemy and decrease their TP by one. Yeah. The, the good thing about Benedict is he can keep on buffing the team. He never has to skip a turn. But after three turns, this guy will have to skip a turn. So he's probably not coming. <laughs> Serenoa's almost level eight, which is good. I guess it's always 100 XP per level, it looks like. Bum, 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 bum. Is there anything new at the encampment? Can we level anyone up? Uh, oh, you're you're new. Thank you for allowing me into your service, Lord Serenoa. I cannot help but wonder what would have become of me had the duchy not attacked. I do not think I could have found the strength to do what I believe to be right if I had remained in the Crown City. This war has changed everything for me. I swear I shall endeavour to make House Wolfort proud. Cheers, bruh. Uh, did we get any iron and shit during that? Not really. We need nine more iron. Can we buy any more iron? Or are you still sold out? Uh, no, you're still sold out. How the fuck do we get more iron then? <laughs> Do, 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 do. Hmm. Ba, 
We do have eight grand. It's probably worth putting a few grand into the strength ring. Let's give you the strength ring. And let's give you the defense ring. Okay, we're probably all right. Uh, we can get some of this quieter stuff. We have two quietus points. Do we have any quietus like things? <laughs> like I I just forgot about it in that battle, but I don't think there was ever an option to use any quietus stuff, right? But I guess we should get a couple of these. Get those. We have two quietus points at the moment, so this would take us to three, but we then would only be able to afford one quietus thing anyway, so we'd have enough to do three, but only be able to use one, so better to buy two, and we can use both of them, and then we'll start saving up for the extra point for the crit, I guess. Is what makes sense to me. Promotion, nobody's level 10, so we can't do that right. And we need a Medal of Bravery, which I guess will go up for sale when we get there? His counter stance, that just... Oh, it's just a chance to deal a counter attack when attacked by an adjacent enemy. Okay. Uh, opportune attack deals physical damage to a single adjacent enemy when moving five squares or more. Huh. Did not know about that. And what's Knight's Bane? Increases damage inflicted... Oh, increases damage inflicted to you by spears. That's a skill. <laughs> that's not a skill. That's a that's a big old fat drawback. It increases the damage you take by spears. Uh, you will get something at 10 and another at 15. Okay, so... If you move five squares or more and end up next to an enemy, you hurt them. Okay. Uh, that's crazy, but it costs... Oh, wait, he's got four. Hmm. Do, 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 do. Blessing of fire increases your fire resistance while decreasing your ice resistance. That's why we kept getting huge damage from ice attacks. Makes sense. For those in need, grants additional HP to allies at 50% or less when using health restoring commands. Okay, cool, cool. Sanctuary is coming at level 10. Uh, you've got two actions in a single turn, but can only move once. Uh, increases damage inflicted to you by arrows. Okay, didn't remember that. It's all these, all these, uh, passives that I just didn't really know what they do. It's good to learn. Uh, decreases damage when hit from behind. Okay, that's cool. Good to remember. Fight or flight. This came up a few times. Increases your movement by one when enemies are nearby. Ah, okay. I did see that come up a few times. I just had no idea what it did. Uh, you've got a passive that grants one TP when you defeat an enemy, but we're probably not going to use you. I just can't see myself ever using these people we've picked up that haven't been in battles, because they're like four levels under leveled. So, like, it's just hindering yourself. I'd rather just use my main team, you know? The people that I actually know that have been part of the story that didn't just turn up randomly. <laughs> what did you do again? I guess maybe you can level them up here. Well, I don't want to... I don't really want to do, like, additional combats just for the sake of it. Alright, uh, let's get out of here then. And let's do the side quest. Uh, 
Falk's Streets. A bird arrives at the Falk's Domain, carrying to Lord Landroy dire tidings from the Crown City. My lord, please reconsider. S-Frost's numbers are overwhelming. We would only be sending our men to their doom. I will not stand idly by as the capital burns. Move, you fool. I'll go by myself if I must. Lad. Make that bastard Gustatov remember how true my aim is. It's too late, my lord. Whiteholm has fallen and the capital has been taken. Damn it all. Do his majesty and the royal family still live? There is no news, my lord. Heavens be good. A dream of peace so soon dashed asunder. And under my watch. Your majesty, pray live long enough that I might atone for my failure in person. My lord, I fear there are other concerns. The S. Frosty army may not stop at the capital. Yes, the three high houses might still unite against them. We must prepare for the worst. Raise the alarm. It's time to muster our defenses. House Fox will not surrender without a fight. Okay, he wants to team up. Good, good. Good, good. Like him a lot more than House Telior. Those pussies. Like, ah, let's just, let's just fucking hide. Let's not help. All right, okay, well, we've got a battle coming up. Uh, but that seems to be a pretty good point to leave off for today. So, thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around, share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And I'll see you next time as we try to escape from White Home. Thanks for watching. See you then.